tell us about that some more, your character and what drew this project? Uh, yeah, uh, it's on Netflix. It's this delicious love story. It's a rom-com. Uh, it's my first Netflix film, so I'm excited about that. Uh, it's um, It stars uh, Riley Dandy and Isaac Rossi and they are phenomenal. They truly are phenomenal. And uh, it's just about a young lady whose life turns upside down on her 30th birthday. And she is um, looking to do something different. And in the course of heartbreak and betrayal, she spends some time with mom and her world unfolds. Uh, her mom uh, checks her into a cooking class and um, love awaits. I'm, uh, I play a character named uh, David and I am married to a character named Todd played by one of, my, um, one of my dearest friends, Paul Witten. And uh, we are part of this uh, really fun ensemble in the um, El Corazon cooking class. And I got to work with some really fun people and tell a delicious love story. And I think, we're, especially with where we are now in the world, we all need some hope. We need some yeah. laughs. And uh, who doesn't need some love? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> actually recommended you for this role. How does that collaboration process differ when you're working with not only an, a fellow colleague, but a friend that you have previous history with? Uh, you know, first of all, uh, Paul, yeah, Paul has been a great friend of mine for years. Uh, what I am grateful for in regards to COVID, like I'm not grateful for COVID. I'm grateful for some of the beautiful gifts that I received from COVID. And what that was is, you know, no one was going out. No one was, you know, theaters were down. Places and gatherings were all shut down because we didn't know what we were dealing with. So Paul would come here and sit in my backyard. And I want to say we would save the world. You know, being one of my dearest friends, you know, it made me look at my friendships differently. And our mm. connection became a lot deeper. It became a lot more intimate. And it wasn't that it wasn't deep and friendly and intimate. It's just uh you know, when you're not living on your phone and you're not distracted by all that's going on, you really connect. And uh, we have this policy of put your phone down. And, you know, we would spend hours and connect and talk and, you know, tell each other our deepest secrets. And I did that with a handful of people. And, you know, they know everything. I know everything. And when Paul got the call uh, to be in this movie by his friend, Christina Moore, who is actually in the movie and she's phenomenal. Uh, her husband wrote the movie, John Ducey. And they said, Paul, we want you to play this character. And do you know somebody that could possibly play your husband? And he called me and he said, what do you think? Would you? And I said, well, one, I'm married. So it's a betrayal on film. And two, uh, I would love to. So they, uh, they brought me in. And here's what I really love is I, you know, we already had the friendship. You know, and for me as an actor, uh, there's intimacies that you as a partner or you as a best friend or you as somebody connected to somebody, there, there's a freedom to be you have. So a few days before we went filming, I, um, I bought us matching bracelets. Uh, we both wore uh, wedding rings, of course. And I just said, how do you hold hands? Like he's one of my dearest friends, but when you are in a relationship, Paul, how do you hold hands? Is it like this? Is it like this? Is it interlocking arms? And we really, you know, I'm like, are you boxers or briefs? Do you snore? Don't you snore? And there were just intimacies that I personally wanted to know for me. And I shared mine so that when we were on set, uh, when my arm was on his shoulder, it wasn't just this arm. It was actually an arm rubbing his shoulder. You know, mm -hmm. I, you know, as an actor, you can see what's real and what's, yeah. I'm not. And I've seen some of our stuff and I believe it. I do. I do. And we, you know, and they, they brought in this really fun married couple that happens to be gay. It wasn't just, let's check this box. It was husband and wife, mom and daughter, boyfriend and girlfriend, and then a married couple. You know, so it was really just lovely to be part of all of that and do it with somebody that I truly, truly love.
And, you know, like you were saying earlier, you know, this industry has made really slow progress in terms of representation. I think early on, when we started to see more diversity, it became a focal point in the character's identity in these narratives with projects like That's a More and couples like David and Todd. We're finally at a point where we're representing the world that we live in without having to call attention to it. What has it meant to you to be a part of a project that's really pushing real inclusivity forward and this next evolution of storytelling? Uh, what a beautiful question. Uh, it means everything to me. You know, I don't, you know, we don't watch movies and be like, okay, here we have so-and-so and so-and-so and they happen to be straight. You know, we live in a world now where that is a lot more inclusive. We live in a world that I, I want to believe celebrates people. So it means the world to me to have Netflix, ESX Entertainment, uh, Ali Ashwar, to just bring into people that happen to be gay characters. It doesn't matter. And, you know, as I say to my nephews, love is love, period. And who you love is who you love. And be kind, say thank you and please. And, you know, to be on a movie where they represent all the colors in the mailbox, uh, the, the, the crayon box, the mailbox, the crayon box, how great for us. How great to be part of a story where it's not about, okay, as I said earlier, you know, here's this gay couple, yeah. here's this married straight couple. It's here are these two people, you know, Suleika Matthew is in it and she plays John Ducey's wife in the film. Uh, there's no, there's no big explanation on that. So there doesn't, I do not believe today in this world, we need to explain who we are. So I think it's fantastic and I'm grateful. And I got to be part of a great love story. You know, I, when we spoke last night, we talked about Venice and I'm in this great series and season seven comes up and they're pulling me from season six to season seven. And on every interview I gratefully did, at the very end, I said, it happens to be about two women. Like love is love and our hearts yeah. get touched. You know, we, if we, we see these beautiful things of somebody pulling a baby elephant out of a hole in Africa, it's about love and generosity and kindness of spirit. And if we could just all just be more open-hearted, then I believe that we're all going to get along more. We're going to communicate better and uh, it's going to be an easier ride. Great answer. And, you know, you've done it all throughout your career. What is that experience like when you're working with a director who also has experience in front of the camera? Does that kind of film experience differ in any way? It's my words, I love you. Yeah, because here's, here's the, you know, Sean is phenomenally talented. He really is. And of course, uh, being an actor, I Googled his, his work and, you know, he, he just allowed us to share. You know, he, you know, it, it's great to have, you know, I've had directors that um, are just directors and they are very, and they are phenomenal. They're very militant and very, uh, I, I want this, I want this, and I want this. And as an actor, of course you hired me because I can give you this and this and this. And one thing I've always asked is, and just let me have one more, one more take for me, because when you take off, I don't even know if it's the rigidity of it. Is that, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm very impressed with myself right now, the rigidity of it. Uh, there's more of a freedom to be, you know, uh, I love amazing directors that just say, give me this, because they are seeing something I'm not, but to work with somebody with Sean and, you know, he just let the camera go. Because as an actor, he knows what it's like to, you know, some of the best moments I believe are the beginning of a take and the end of a take, you know, because when you are getting set up and there were times where they didn't tell us that they were rolling, they just let the camera go. There's this, okay, okay I'm not working out, I'm just being. And then you get these beautiful moments and some of the best stuff that I've ever been part of has been in the quiet of the calm, even when as an actor, sometimes I feel we go too fast to find that moment and let it breathe and just be in it. And you know, there were beautiful moments between Paul and myself where we were actually cutting and learning and you know, it was learning how to, I mean, I wasn't an experienced shit cook. So learning how to chop and learning how to cut and learning how to do the right thing because we're in class. So to be part of that story with these people and be directed by Sean, it's, 
they're, they're golden moments. And I, I, I'm so grateful for all of that. Beautifully said. A perfect segue to this next question. But you've also said in the past that every character that you put on becomes a part of who you are. What will you take away from this project and playing David that you'll apply to future projects? His curiosity. You know, David is very, David is very much, you know, every character is myself. Uh, I really am connected with David because there's this, you know, my mother was very generous of spirit. My mother said hello to anybody and everybody. And my father used to say, God, you're like your mother. You know, uh, it, it's it's those bits of David. You know, there's Daniel Mora plays the chef and he, of course, being the chef has to uh, be very inclusive of everyone. And we really created this lovely connection. And you know, for me, he was sharing something with me as a character and even as a human. I, uh, I hopefully I, I will see him tomorrow night and I will hug the, the heck out of him. But there was this earnestness between me and him. And every time David did something, he looked at the chef, uh, uh, Daniel, for approval. And there were some really sweet moments where Sean let us go and I'd go in and I'd hug him. And I'm like, how am I doing? You know, there's you know, I, I want to be teachable. I want to learn things. So I really made a point to make David inquisitive, curious, you know, to, to, you know, I threw Paul into the lion's den. I'm like, okay, you chop, you do this. You get your hands, you know, wet and sticky from the uh, paella. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was, uh, there's just something very sweet and genuine about him. And I believe that we bring in ourselves to each and every character and I want David and Todd to have a spinoff and have it be that some more too and um, come to our creamery in Sonoma because we choose to eat. <laughs> I got a two part question for you. Uh, what do you hope audiences take away after they see this project? And then you've been a part of so many incredible television shows, films. What is your vetting process like deciding what you want to be a part of and how has that changed over time? Uh, I hope people take away from this movie, don't give up on hope, don't give up on love. Uh, what I love about this movie is these two characters do not meet on their phone. They are not meeting on an app. There is, there is a moment in life where they meet. Uh, I'm married, we met in a moment in life. You know, mm -hmm. I believe I am, I am a heart, I'm a hopeful romantic, I, I, I am. And I, you know, I, I be open, be open to love, uh, be curious and, you know, get off the apps. That's, that's what I want people to get off the apps. You know, the world is opening up again, take classes. You know, if you meet somebody per se on an app, hey, let's go for a walk. Hey, let's get to know each other. And, you know, people are fearless behind the phone, but when you're face to, and when you're face to face, it's a whole different, uh, different experience be, yeah. be bold face to face and ask questions uh you know i don't really like to say no uh, my team sometimes gets upset with me they're like oh uh and it always plays out well uh listen i, I want to be invited to the party for as long as i can go to the party so i will do everything and anything and you know uh so I, it's not even so much why why wouldn't I as an actor play? You know, I have a horror flick coming out next year and uh, it's a, a great film and hopefully I can come back and we can talk about it. Uh, Martinez, Margarita's a murder. And, uh, you know, I play, uh, I play the bartender, Roger, and Roger's very different from me in a, in a great way. So I, I want to be able to put on my acting chops and play different characters and dive into who I am, you know, every character for me is about a gesture and a physicality. So why not do a lot more and see how much more I can do and play. And as I said, come to every party.